welcome guys to another SAO Rise of Steel video and today we're going through the tier list, magic tier list to clarify. Essentially this tier list revolves around kit utility and versatility onto the teams that the characters are being put on. Basically we look through the kit that they have and then we weight how much benefits in terms of buffs, debuffs, um, also incarnate wise and and salts charge breaks as well and enhance and debuffs abilities they have and we put them on the list essentially outstanding units are for units that are well round in all areas and they are basically a game changer for the teams that are being put on Leafa, for example has a charge yell healing for all par for party members as well as a magic assault which is very hard hitter it also does have active link with any single kirito available in the game and also her incarnate besides also doing a, a magic attack is a allows you to heal your party as well at the same time so it's amazing must have characters are do also give a lot of benefits to the team for example, the main enhancement units are there because they are able to hit hard, they're able to get healing back or have some sort of buff ability alongside the assault or charge. For example, the list either gives magic resistance sound by 20% or her assault gives an attack up, magic attack up by 10% or the Ronnie and Tisa give the healing ability as well as the crit damage up by 10% every time and it, it is stackable as well. Really good characters are there only because they have half of the abilities the must have characters have in terms of abilities let's say the water alice or the enhanced mode, um, Hans mode this bad guy, what's his name again? Well the, 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 the guy that gets trashed in the series, he they are able to, you know, go into enhanced mode and basically do tons of DPS damage. However, the must-have units go a bit further than that and give tons of more benefits towards the team. In regards to the goddesses, they're there because they're not in enhanced mode, so they are not able to do as much damage as the characters above of them. But they are able to give the crit damage, well, crit buff to the team members, as well as the char charge, which is decently decent as well we also do have the ALO charge asana which essentially is really really good in terms of kit wise however the must-have is another category by themselves in terms of how good their benefits are good is mainly for characters that essentially do their job and essentially they do certain things quite well However, they are not really stand out in terms of damage wise, as well as there's, they may be a bit outdated in terms of characters. Okay, are for characters that are essentially there because they fill the team and they're able to, you know, increase your incarnate, incarnate gauge. And also they're there because you could, you could use an ability or two to make your team there. Optional are just characters that you just there. <laughs> They're just there for you to either put in your party or just not to have them at all. And collection wise are for characters that you just are collecting for specific reasons. Essentially the Alice's are there because you never you may never use them, but they're there. Okay, characters and optional characters, you can you can see them as well as using them for cathedral and use, using them to clear the mobs, essentially saving the other good, really good must have and outstanding units for the later bosses and for stages that you may very well need them as their cathedral area is limited on turns. But anyways guys, if you guys do have a different opinion than me, let me know in the comments below. I am happy to justify most of these units rankings on the comments below. If you do have any doubts as well in the Discord, send me a message and we can talk about it. It is an open discussion regardless, but I've asked a couple of members of the Discord to, you know, also check this tier list and agree or disagree, change the position of characters. And essentially, I would like to thank the following people, which are 
Pele Albino, Taiga, Bash, and Tenny the Second. Thank you very much, guys, for your support. And as always, if you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like, subscribe for more Series 2 content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.